Hello and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, nice to meet you. My name is Reya and I'm a huge makeup addict, especially eyeshadow and especially colorful eyeshadow. And as you saw from the title, we are reviewing the Lethal Cosmetics After Dark eyeshadow palette today, which looks like this. And and Lethal Cosmetics face palette. Uh, this is Borel, I believe. So yeah. And this is the look that we did and at the end of the video you of course see all the looks that I have done with these. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new upload. And let's go do this eye look. Okay, let's start with the makeup. I'm sorry, I have to keep the fan on. It's I'm just sweating again. But anyway, as you saw from the uh, intro and title, I'm going to review the uh, Little Cosmetics After Dark Pressed Powder Palette, which looks like this. In the pieces, I glued the palette name in here and the shade names in the palette. These are not normally in the palette uh, and they do it because every these are depotable. There, there's holes behind so you can depot them if you want to. Uh, but what I've been thinking of doing today is starting with the shade Replica which is the screen for the inner part of the eye and then for the outer part, first the Night Call, which is the darkest matte in the palette. And then the shade Quick Save, which is the orange. We'll see what happens. I have done my brows and my base is P. Louise um, Rumor 1, which is the... So, let us begin. Um, hmm. Just thinking what kind of brush I use for the in. Let's take this one. This is from Shellas. It doesn't have a name. It's just a like a mid-size blending brush. And I'll start with the green called Replica. Let me see. I don't have creases. And I'll just put it in the inner part of the... Inner part of the eye. And this is my third look with this palette. So, these have been working. They are powdery, which is normal for little shadows. And, but I like this color story. can get little from Finland now from Nope Beauty this is where I bought bought this palette I also bought the face palette and uh, another highlighter from the Night Flower collection uh, but I will feature them in this video too but for the uh, for the foundation, I'm going to film another video with the foundation because I have new foundation I want to do like a wear test and uh, first impressions kind of video with that one. But I'll come back then to do the do the rest of the face. See this go on effortlessly, they blend, it blends nicely. I don't need the lighter shade to blend it more. I think it's very good like this. And then I'll take... Mm, I'll take Jessup 230 Luxe Pencil. I have a discount code with Jessup, I'll put it on the screen. It is affiliated and it gets you 15% off, so... And uh, 
in the description box if there's a star kind of thing in front of the link it means it's, it's affiliated and I really appreciate if you are buying through them now I'm taking the shade night call which was the dark purple and place it in here in the outer corner first I was eyes closed and then I open my eyes so I can see that it comes high enough. <laughs> I'm just a bit uh, dabbing in the outer edges of it to the purple to blend it a bit to make it easier to blend the orange and then I'm taking P. Louise 112 and that orange shade called quick save and we'll see what happens am I able to blend this purple with this orange sorry Looks like I am. I'm gonna pull that orange to the a bit to inside to the crease with the green. They're probably not the best to blend together. It may turn brown, but I don't know. I think it looks good. And the orange blended the purple so nicely. Maybe it looks a bit like Bruce. <laughs> blended so easily again of course little isn't the cheapest uh, brand but I think it's worth it with the, the performance of the shadows is so nice that gonna have to darken the purple a bit that I used orange I take the white shade called frequency just a bit to soften this edge trying to blend this edge I'm just going back and forth with the brushes to get the blend add more green this is chess up 234 look smoky shader so it's a flat but fluffy 
and the fur looks horrible. Uh, for the shimmers, for the outer part, I'm going to use the pink gold main frame. And then for the inner part, I'm going to use arcade, just this one. So I'll start with the lighter one called arcade. And wet my brush. Don't you just hate it when you got in your mind that you haven't pressed a button to start filming. <laughs> Luckily I can see it on my screen. Share. Don't have to check the phone that I'm filming with. Okay, but do you, kind of, do you see this shade? It's so beautiful. Like... Uh, kind of like yellowy, goldish, pinkish. It's just stunning. This week I should have two, well actually they should be today, two deliveries. I have two palettes coming. And I took the main frame. I just uh, turned my brush over. I took the main frame, which is the pink. And we'll put it here. I just like the little shadow performance. I don't care about the um, kick up in the pan, so I just want to mention it because some people do not like it, uh, but for me, um, I have noticed that it many times it means good pigment if you have kick up, but I don't, you know, I don't get uh, uh, tons of fallout any uh, either, so... Ah, so beautiful! Then I take the dark purple brush and try to blend this edge a bit. Just dabbing the dark purple there. If I have time after I've done my base, I might add some gems to the front part. I think this is kind of different color combo that I have done before. I'm gonna clean the edge with makeup wipe. Just a bit. I don't want to make like a strange edge. You know. But just need to make sure it doesn't come a lot under my um, lash line because it makes the eyes look more chubby. Okay, I think that was most of it. I don't know yet what do I do with the under eyes. But I'll go now film the other video with the foundation and I'll come back. I bought the face palette called Boreal. From Little, this has bronzer, blush, and <coughs> highlighter. I have used this highlighter, it's very nice. I like Little highlighters, but I think I'm going to use this 
that I bought too. This is the halo from the Nightflower collection. I think if I remember right, it has like a greenish, greenish shift to it. But yeah, I'll come back with those after I've done the foundation. Okay, I have the foundation and concealer and a bit of essence contouring duo on. So let's use the Little Cosmetics face palette. This is uh, the name Boreal of this palette. I'm going to use just the bronzer and blush today. I have used the highlighter. It is very beautiful, but whoop. Stop it. Okay, <laughs> sorry. But I'm going to use the highlighter from the Nightflower collection. Let me just check here. Yeah, it's Halo. This one. But let's start with the bronzer. These are also quite powdery as the little eyeshadows are. But these aren't like overly pigmented. And I like these shades. These are buildable, they blend easily. And I didn't use any cream products today because I wanted to show the true shades of these. As you can see, very easy to work with. I forgot to say, this is Beauty Bay Bake, Bake Off brush. Then I have Beauty Bay Make Me Blush brush, and I'll take the blush called Nectar. So, so, so pretty shade. Probably orangey, peachy blush would have been better with this eye look, but we'll go with this now. And this, they, they are like pigmented, but uh, not overly pigmented in my mind. And like you saw, the blush went on very nicely also. Easy to work with. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, then I'll take the highlighter. The highlighter is blinding. So I'm going to be careful with it. But these, uh, you can get them very blinding if you want to. I forgot to put the fan on, and I'm starting to sweat. Like, so pretty. And this is like a... These uh, Nightflower uh, collection highlighters are a bit glittery. Just so you know if you don't like that. Can you see the? It's so pretty. So pretty. There is a reason why I bought another one of those. Or another shade. I mean. Let's put some brushes away from the table. And let's do the lower lash line. I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to use the green that we used. And then the orange. I'm not gonna use the purple at all. Let me just first spray some shit shit. Oh my god. I really can't talk today. I'm sorry. Okay. Low lash line. I'm going to take Jess up a 237 detail shader. I'll start with the green on the inner part. Like that. 
highlighter for the inner corner and brow bone. This is Morphe E36. Okay, so this is all I'm going to do now on camera. I'll go finish the look and I come back with the finished look. finished look today using some little cosmetics products I used Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade 65 Seductress uh, I also used some um, House of Lashes lashes can't remember the style but yeah first let's talk about the little cosmetics after dark uh, pressed powder palette it performs very nicely. I haven't had any staining with it, at least not yet. And the shades are very beautiful. The color story is amazing. It's like um, you have so many looks that you can do with this palette. Um, if you don't mind that the only dark shade is the dark purple. But, of course, if you have another palette, you can bring black in and darken any of these. I like that there, there is the uh, white matte, so you can use that uh, to lighten up the shades and blend them nicely. And, yeah, I really like this palette. It's not the newest new palette in any way, but I just wanted to try more little cosmetics. And, yeah, I really like the The shadows are copy uh, which I don't mind but some people don't like it so so I thought I would mention it in here um, you will of course see I have drawn the three looks now with the palette you will of course see them all uh, or you have seen them all already or you see them at the end of the video then I have the Boreal um, face palette that has bronzer uh, blush and highlighter. I also really like this. As you saw, they blend easily. They are pigmented, but not too pigmented, because if they're too pigmented, it's hard to use, uh, and you easily uh, get some accidents with them. I like the shades very, very much, and yeah, nice palette also, and then the highlighter that I used today, which is the Halo from the Nightflower uh, collection is really pretty. The, uh, the Nightflower collection highlighters are duochrome. I guess I could show you the swatch of this highlighter in the palette. It's called Flux. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like a uh, pinkish highlighter. And I, I like it a lot too, but the Nightflower uh, collection highlighters are more um, impactful and more blinding than uh, the, uh, than the highlighter in the Boreal palette. But yeah, this is the look that we did today and yeah, the shadows perform very nicely. They are easy to work with. They are pigmented, but not too pigmented. And yeah, I really like this palette and I'm anxiously waiting what 
uh, Little Cosmetics does next. Uh, they did the 7 Up palette, the last palette that they did, but I didn't buy that one. Uh, but we'll see what happens next. I'm anxiously waiting. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new upload. And we will see you hopefully very soon. Bye!